You're just going to wear out your arm, you're going to wear out your breath, and it's just going to be hard and frustrating. But if you relax, pay attention to how you're supposed to do it, keep everything where they're supposed to go, start slow, you'll be fine. After we finished learning about wilderness shelters, we took a quick break, then it was off to our next lesson, how to make a fire. Fire is such a huge part of our survival game on my own, so our team was really excited to learn more about it. Before starting a fire, we needed to first learn about how to make a proper tinder bundle. Tinder bundles are used to catch a spark and get the flame going. To make a true, by the book, natural materials tinder bundle, they're typically three layers. An inner layer that will catch and hold a spark easily, a mid layer which will hold the spark and ignite into flame, and then an outer layer that will burn well. For these first tinder bundles, we used a char cloth at the center to start the flame, but you can also use a variety of natural materials. Now that we had our tinder bundles, it was finally time to ignite them, first with a magnifying glass. You want your back to the sun so that the sun is coming over your shoulder and you're going to find the sun in your lens Here we go. and you're going to focus it until you get a beam and you're going to focus that beam on your char cloth. Start kind of far away and slowly move your glass in until the sunlight focuses in like a little white dot in the middle of your char cloth. Close that taco and hold it up above your face. And blow hard. Keep it above your face. Keep going. You're almost there. Keep going. Go on. There you go. I feel warming up. Come on. Oh, well, you got a lot of it Keep is going. on your that little piece of grass that you want that beam. There you go. On yeah. that fire. Yeah, you got smoke in there. Hard. You're almost there. There, there you go. Fire. Yeah. Then you can set it down. Oh, okay. Like yeah, now that I get what it is, you, when you said plastic magnifying glass, I was like, I don't get that. But this it's is a the same stuff. lens or whatever. They, yeah. You gotta bring yours back to life. Yeah, I don't know where my cloth is. That's awesome. I didn't think they were gonna work that well. It's, it's a little plastic credit card looking thing that has rings cut in it that create a magnifying effect. And this is the first time I've ever used one, but it worked pretty well. How does it feel, guys? How does it feel to make fire with your own hands? Awesome. Right now we're processing firewood. We're making up a bunch of kindling. Uh, so that we can start practicing fire lays. Fire lay is the method in which you place the initial wood to start a fire. But uh, the stick's really thick, so we can't snap it in half, so you can use two trees to break it. Yeah. Good spoons. There you go. So we got Kyle's primitive teepee and my two-story log cabin. We are using a ferro rod to start a fire. The ferro rod burns at three to five thousand. Three to five thousand degrees. So. Give it another shot. Here. There you go. How come you use the, that part of the knife? Because you don't want to wreck your edge. Cut oh. Edge. Whoa! See, now let's pay a little nice closer job. attention to this. After starting a couple fires, we were feeling pretty confident, but our biggest challenge was coming up next. Now we're learning how to make fire with a fire bow. A fire drill. It's a bow drill. Uh, bow drill. Fire a fire bow drill. This is the bow. It's a sapling or a stick, whatever you find. I often like to find a stick that has a natural curve already in it. You just need room for your hands to work for the spindle to run. Um, so your bow and your string. This is paracord that you can use naturally made and naturally found materials to use a string. 
You got your spindle, right? So this is the part that's gonna go in the string. I'll show you how we load that up in a minute. Your fireboard, this is gonna be spinning in here. So then the top of my spindle, I'm holding with my top block. That sits in there. It'll be held down like that. And then I need some grass for this. Green grass. Roll it up into a ball and pack it in. Stuff that in there. And set that upside down. So you want this pointy end of the spindle kind of pointing towards you. And you start on top of the string, and then you go under. So the spindle, the point is up, it's on the outside of the bow. Okay. Yeah, nice. Slow down. Still your weight there, because the dust is going off the back. While using the fire bow drill, I quickly realized that form is a huge factor in sustaining your energy through this grueling process. Notice how low Chad is compared to me, using his body weight as leverage to hold down the spindle. So when I say so, so I just want you to stop, but don't move anything. So stop, and just take a second to relax. Very slight look. Still there. Yep. There you go. Very, very fragile. Press that enough. Don't move your foot. You good? How's it look? I don't see any. You getting a lot of smoke though? Yeah, I got pretty much smoke. I just don't see any more. If there's smoke, there's a cold. You just have to go slow. Yeah. This guy's hot. Now I don't know. I just got one. Fire by friction. I can run this either. Up. Work your way up and away from you. It. Don't tip the coal though. <laughs> he burned all the way through. Freaking my hand was just like. Why is it so hot? <laughs> and then you can open you can your hand up, you're holding it with your fingers more. Then you Almost no down the pressure. Away from you. And just start out. Slow. No, it's on the top. Yeah. A lot of your yeah. dust went away, so we're kind of starting over here. Yeah. Yeah. I would hold it with my fingertips. This and part is called warming up the board. Yeah. So you don't, you don't need to put any effort into it other than keeping the bow in. You've got a good dust pile. It's the right color. You've got good smoke. It smells to me like it's burning. Okay, stop. Very slowly remove your spindle. <coughs> That means you go like happen. 10 more seconds. When you pulled the spindle out, you knocked it. Um, you knocked you pack it, pile packing down. it full of grass every time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You had a coal that time. It just it died. Alright. Hi, I'm Kyle, and this is the fire bow drill. Your hand position on the bearing block is already better than it was last time. Keep that up. And you're relaxed. It's not even a problem. You got a lot of good smoke. Now really get it speed. As much as you can. You're doing good. Everything feels good and you're relaxed. Now relax. Just stop. Stop. Just stop. You don't move. You let, gently lift that up. You don't want to smother it. Lift it up. Set your bow drill down. Pick this up and set the char cloth directly on top of that without smothering it. Set it over top of it. And then tip your board over. Set that on there. Tip the whole thing over. And then get that in there. And you look here, keep this in. Gently blowing on it. I'm hoping that char cloth catches. A little more, a little more air. Don't blow your bundle apart. Give it a little more air. A little more air. More air. More air. More air. More air. And that's 
Ha! <laughs> Woo! Uh, <laughs> we kicked that thing's butt. Oh, All right. <laughs> cool. Making bannock, and what you do is you take the ball of dough, kind of make like a snake like this. Eventually, we're gonna wrap it around a stick. Definitely looks like it's gonna be good. You can tell that there's a little bit more like visually <laughs> pleasing than ours. Up here. 